Hello everyone! Today we're making three easy Halloween shirts, so grab your scissors. We'll start off with this skull shirt because it's the easiest. For this tutorial you will need a piece of cardboard or something else to put inside your shirt, a plain shirt, sharp scissors, and something to mark your clothing with. So turn your shirt inside out and lay it down back side up. Now we're going to sketch a very simple skull. I'll put my rough sketch up on screen so you can copy it if you'd like. It's just two big ovals for the eyes. I like to leave a strip of fabric in one of them to make it look more distressed. Two teardrop shapes for the nose, two triangles for the cheek hollows, and then rounded squares for teeth. I tried to make all the corners rounded to prevent ripping but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now put your cardboard or whatever you're using inside the shirt and start carefully cutting out your skull. Gently stretch the fabric around the holes. The next tutorial is this jack-o'-lantern shirt. And for this you will need a piece of cardboard or something else to put inside your shirt, a shirt, I used an orange one, a pair of sharp scissors, a ruler, and something to mark your clothing with. Now that's all you really need, but I recommend also using either some iron-on fabric fusing sheets or some scrap fabric and fabric glue to use as backing for your design. So turn your shirt inside out and lay it down front facing up. Lay out a piece of some fabric fusing sheet or scrap fabric if you're using it and it's time to start sketching out a jack-o'-lantern face. Use your ruler to draw a line down the center then two parallel lines on either side where you want the design to end so you can make everything symmetrical. I kept the design super simple. For the eyes, draw a line across the shirt where you want the bottom of the eyes to be. Divide it into thirds for the width and spacing, then draw two triangles with a half circle cut out one side. Make a smaller triangle just below the eyes in the center for the nose. Then for the mouth, I just drew out the basic shape, then filled it in with triangles in the corners and square teeth in the center. Cut out the extra fabric or fusing sheet around your design, if you're using it, and then center it on your shirt. Attach your design to your shirt by either gluing it down or ironing it on. Then put your cardboard inside your shirt and very carefully cut out all the triangles and squares. I like this shirt with both yellow and black underneath. The last tutorial is a spine and rib cage t-shirt weaving pattern. I did this on a tighter shirt years ago and thought I would try it again on a looser fitting one. For this tutorial you will need a piece of cardboard or something to put inside your shirt, a shirt, I cut the collar off of mine, a pair of sharp scissors, a ruler, and something to mark your clothing with. Turn your shirt inside out and lay it down flat, back side up. Now, my markings really didn't show up on camera very well, so I'll put a diagram of what we are drawing at the side. And I'll also leave a link to the original video if you need more in-depth instructions. So start by drawing two lines down the center of the shirt, about an inch and a half apart. And then draw two more lines parallel, an inch away from the first two on either side. Draw a horizontal line just below the collar at the top, the width of the center two lines. Then draft out where the rib section will be. Inside that rib section, start drawing horizontal lines the width of the outer center lines, spaced an inch apart starting under that first horizontal line. When you get to the bottom of the rib cage section, draw a few more horizontal lines below, 
but only make them the width of the center two lines. Then mark a tiny hole an inch below the last horizontal line. Draw more horizontal lines across the rib section in between the center horizontal lines and going from the outside edge to the edge of the two center vertical lines. Now put your cardboard inside your shirt and start cutting along all the horizontal lines. Once you're done cutting, it should look like this. Then just gently stretch all the strips. Turn your shirt inside in and put the cardboard back in. Now we're going to do some t-shirt weaving down the center for the spine. Grab the second strip of fabric from the top in the center and pull it up under and over the first strip. Then pull it down and grab the next strip of fabric and pull that one up, under, and over the second. Continue this all the way down to the bottom. Then cut the bottom strand and tie it back together through the little hole you cut at the bottom, inside the shirt. Adjust your pattern by stretching it and spreading the weave apart. And that's it! I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at North at all. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here. Or watch another video, right over here. Thanks for watching!